the symbolism of the cat and the constellation Felis. Introduction The cat, Felis catus, is the only domesticated species in the family Felidae. It was long thought that cat domestication began in ancient Egypt, where cats were venerated from around 3100 BC. But recent advances in archaeology and genetics have shown that their domestication occurred in Western Asia around 7500 BC. Feral cats range freely and avoid human contact. Domestic cats are valued by humans for companionship. About 60 cat breeds are recognised by various cat registries. As of 2021, there were an estimated 220 million owned and 480 million stray cats in the world. As of 2017, the domestic cat was the second most popular pet in the United States, with 95.6 million cats owned. In the United Kingdom, 26% of adults have a cat. With regards to the number of cats per thousand inhabitants, France shows the highest, 177, and Spain the lowest, 74 density. Counteracting a common belief Wikipedia Contrary to popular belief, there is no scientific evidence that cats are an effective means of rodent control, and ecologists oppose their use for this purpose. As an invasive species and super predator, they do considerable ecological damage. The reality is that cats find rats to be large and formidable prey. And so they preferentially hunt defenseless wildlife such as lizards and songbirds instead. And again, according to Wikipedia, in the United States, 2013 study by Scott Arlos and others of the Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service found that cats kill an estimated 1.3 to 3.7 billion birds and 6.3 to 22.3 billion mammals annually. Australia Feral and pet cats in Australia are estimated to kill around 650 million lizards and snakes per year. Cats actively hunt and kill over 250 different species of reptiles in Australia, 11 of which are endangered species. Canada, between 100 and 350 million birds are killed annually by pet cats in Canada, China. Domestic cats are common throughout China. A 2021 survey estimated that outdoor cats kill 1.61 to 4.95 billion invertebrates, 1.61 to 3.58 billion fishes, 1.13 to 3.82 billion amphibians, 1.48 to 4.31 billion reptiles, 
2.69 to 5.52 billion birds and 3.61 to 9.80 billion mammals there each year. New Zealand Feral cats have been responsible for the extinction of six endemic bird species and over 70 localised subspecies. South Africa In a 2020 study, approximately 300,000 domestic cats in Cape Town kill 27.5 million animals a year. Cats on the urban edge of Cape Town kill more than 200,000 animals in the Table Mountain National Park annually. United Kingdom Sir David Attenborough in a BBC Radio 4 programme said Cats kill an extraordinary high number of birds in British gardens. Asked whether cat owners should buy bell collars for their pets at Christmas, he replied that would be good for the robins, yes. The fed cat does more harm. The next belief that needs to be exposed is that if you feed a cat, it won't do as much damage ecologically. Hunting behaviour in cats is driven by instinct and not by hunger. Feeding cats does nothing to stop them from hunting, even if the cats are overfed. Indeed, feeding a cat makes it a healthy cat, or a fat cat, able to exhibit what is called hyperpredation, where its numbers don't decline, even if the local prey populations collapse. All that happens is that your cat may start to bring its catch to you. Thank you for providing me with food. Here is food for you. Cats are obligate carnivores. Cats are obligate carnivores, meaning they are true carnivores and depend upon the nutrients present in the animal flesh for their dietary needs. The natural diet of cats does not include any vegetable matter unless it wants to make itself vomit. Furthermore, cats cannot synthesize some essential nutrients required for survival, including the amino acids taurine and arginine, so these nutrients must be sourced from fresh meat in the natural diet. So cat food contains meat or fish. This raises the question of the impact of cat feed on the use of scarce resources in the environment. The discussion has even more relevance when one realises the World Economic Forum is discussing population control of humans without discussing cat control. Annual feed intake is estimated at 98 kilograms or 23 kilograms dry matter per cat. Land use for feed production is about 1,000 square meters per cat. Annual CO2e for cats is 411 respectively. Contribution of feed for cats on the overall production of greenhouse gases cannot be neglected if food consumption is considered. It is generally assumed that cat feed is based on slaughter offal, which is not suitable for human consumption, but this assumption is wrong. There is not sufficient slaughter offal to satisfy the demand for commercial cat feed. Hence parts of slaughtered animals with low preference by human consumers, such as tripe, liver, kidney, fat, etc. are used. But someone in the US may have decided they are of low preference to them. 
but to a European consumer, they are culinary specialities, once inexpensive, vital and nutritious staples. The French and Belgians make liver pâté. The English savour steak and kidney pudding, tripe and onions and liver and bacon, with a garnish of sage and onions. For the Netherlands, Luska and Blanc 2009 estimated that half of all products which are suitable for human consumption are used in pet food. So we are feeding perfectly edible human food to cats in preference to feeding it to humans and telling humans to use food banks. And perhaps worse, we are killing other often threatened or endangered animals deliberately to do so. On sea and land, game animals such as springbok from Africa and kangaroo from Australia are being used as pet food. The use of arable land for pet food based on the calculations of Williams et al. in 2006 show that 13.4% in the USA and 19.8% in the EU is used and most is farmed intensively. And many ships now factory farming the seas are catching fish destined for the cat food manufacturers, not for humans. So we may call a cat a companion animal, but actually it competes with humans for food, even though the competition is hidden from us by the manufacturers. Bacterial dangers. Cats are common tick hosts. This map shows just how common ticks are in the Netherlands only the grey areas are tick-free. Human diseases capable of being transmitted through cat ticks include Thylaria orientalis, R. rickettsia, and hemorrhagic fever. Ticks are often very small and thus difficult to find in a cat. But cats can be both sufferers and transmitters. For example, not only can cats carry Lyme's disease, but they can also get it. Some of the other diseases that can be transmitted from cats to humans include toxoplasmosis, this is a person's eyeball. Worms, Uncinaria, Stenocephala, Encyclostoma, 2 by 4 A. brazilensis, and A. silanicum. Cat scratch disease, known as Bartonellosis. Rickettsia disease, Rickettsia typhi. Tularemia, Francisella tularensis, and plague, Yersinia pestis. Have you nothing good to say about the cat? So far, you may say, other than the fact that they provide companionship, you have only found a list of negative attributes. They compete with us for food. They can give us and our baby some truly horrendous diseases. And they contribute to the deaths and extinction of numerous birds and animals. Furthermore, they do not do any other useful job as their role as a rodent killer.
has been shown to be amiss. Please, you may say, please. If they are a constellation, doesn't that indicate something positive? Sadly, no. The constellation Felis. Felis, Latin for cat, was a constellation created by French astronomer Jérôme Lelande in 1799. He named the constellation Felis because he was a cat lover, and that was the only reason. The way we know this is because a letter by Lelande appeared in Archimene Geographische Ephemeriden, A.G.E. Volume 3, 1799, page 623. And it said, I have inserted between the ship and the cup a new constellation, a cat. I greatly love these animals. I will have it engraved on the charts. The starry sky has tied me enough in my life. He was by then in his late sixties that I can now have my fun with it. It was depicted in the Uranographia Siva Astrorum Descriptio, 1801, of Johann Ellert Bode, though it is rather faint and small. In contemporary astronomy, 88 constellations are recognised by the International Astronomical Union, and Felis is not one of them. Instead, its brightest star, was named Felis by the International Astronomical Union on the 1st of June 2018, and it is now so included in the list of IAU-approved star names. So the cat did not even get a constellation, only a star. So where is the symbolism? It is clear from traditional nursery rhymes that cats were associated with shamanism. The use of the fiddle, the chosen instrument of the magician or sorcerer, gives us this connection. Traditional nursery rhymes collected by Michael Foss. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Little dog laugh to see such fun. And the dish ran away with the spoon. And ultimately the shamanic connections of the cat are best described by Paul Devereaux. Paul Devereaux, Shamanism and the Mystery Lines. Freya is closely associated with Frigg in Norse myth and the two are generally considered to be the same mythological character, with Frigg emphasising the maternal principle and Freya fertility. Freya was the teacher of Sedar, a form of trance divination. This was woman's magic and the side Kona would travel around farmsteads and hamlets, predicting the future. In the course of divination, the side Kona would go into trance and have an out-of-body experience. It was therefore clearly shamanic. The practitioners of Sidere also wore animal costumes with gloves made of cat skin. Freya's carriage is said to have been pulled by cats and she has been depicted in the cloak of a side Kona flying on the back of a large striped cat. It is thus clear where the idea of the witch cat familiar came from. Friar also owned a magic feather garment that enabled her to fly. She it was who taught Odin to fly, which he was able to do after donning a garment 
of falcon feathers. Again, we have the hint that the secrets of magical flight, of ecstatic trance, were passed on to men by women long ago. So we have our answer. The cat was the means of transport of the side goner. There is a project underway investigating whether there are any plausible links between the Siddhiya and the Sanskrit Siddhi. A Siddhi in Indian religions, a Sanskrit Siddhi accomplishment, are magical powers, abilities and attainments. In effect, it is proposed that the Norse faith is perceived as a Western branch of the old Vedic philosophy. But there are some cats that can tell when a person is about to die. So they may be the magicians. Oscar the cat lives in a hospital. Normally he just strolls along the corridors and takes little interest in patients. But Oscar has an uncanny knack of knowing when a patient is about to die. Without frightening the patient, he sits quietly beside them and he is always right. So accurate is he that staff call relatives so they can say their last farewells. <laughs>